<laughs> what I'd like to do is uh, talk about a current project and and my MFA uh, work from 1978 and, and have a connection between those two. I'm in the process of completing a two-year uh, project called Swarm Vision, which uh, is basically a three-camera system that that um, looks around the room and tries to study the space the way I would as a photographer. And my background is in photography, and I've been doing um, data visualization the last 12 years, and previous to that, interactive uh, museum installations. So we'll have this running, hopefully, in the background. Uh, this is in the studio, but uh, we have, uh, in, in um, exhibition spaces, we usually put these cameras out around. And what, what's going on is each of the cameras has a particular set of tasks uh, of how to look around the space. And when a photographer looks around, um, for instance, if I were to photograph you, I, on the one hand, there, there's semantic information I may be, may be interested in, but I'm also interested in syntac syntactic information, which is, uh, excuse me, which is uh, how do I organize the various forms and lines and, and colors that are uh, in front of me, and how do I make a compelling kind of study? So here you can see the um, three cameras. Each of them has a different set of tasks. And what they do is they look around the room and we evaluate uh, how they perform and we rate them. Uh, and uh, there are certain moments when one, one camera has a very high level of, of uh, performance and it forces the other two cameras to look where it's looking. Otherwise, uh, otherwise they'd spend whatever they're looking at, they'd, you know, spend all their time looking at that. And, uh, we then, visualize this uh, outcome in a 3D virtual um, mapping of the space. So on one screen we see what the cameras do and on the other screen we see um, a kind of simulation, a model of the space, the location of the cameras and the images they, they collect or they create. And then we put that in that particular space based on their zoom the, the size is based on the zoom, and and the um, <coughs> the the location is based on the focus. And then, so here you have an example of now that other screen that I'm just talking about. So there are two particular views. This is kind of like a scene overview. So there's one of the cameras. So that's one view. The other view is uh, we get to also see. Uh, from the cameras, the lead camera's point of view. So you have this kind of going back and forth between, uh, and here you get to see the three cameras and the space and where those images are positioned. What a not sound. What is that from? It's finished. It's <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Uh, okay, I just want to add one more thing. Uh, so one of, one of the research I'm interested in is, uh, uh, how to translate human kind of notions of how to organize visual space uh, into machine learning. So if anybody has any kind of recommendations, uh, I'm interested. <laughs>